Today we are going to walk you guys through a full body dynamic warm up. So for this warm up, all you really need is something soft for your knees. Um, to be honest, it could be a pad, pillow, or if you've got a yoga mat or some soft carpet. We are in a tall kneeling position. Uh, toes can be tucked or feet pointed, relaxed behind you. Whatever feels more comfortable. You are going to get a good squeeze through your glutes. Good control through your abs. I'm going to fist the hands down next to you and we're going to start with our neck car. So we're going to drop that chin down to the chest. We'll go to the right first. Scrape that right collarbone. Look over that right shoulder all the way across the ceiling. Feel like a good amount of glutes and hamstrings as you go with the head back. Looking to the left, scrape that left collarbone. Chin to chest. Lift the head and reset. Opposite direction. Drop the chin. Scrape the left. Look left. Ear tips back over that left shoulder all the way across the ceiling. Look into your right back pocket, scrape that right collarbone, and reset. One more each direction, chin to chest. To the right, over the shoulder, across that ceiling. Torso stays still. Lift and reset. Last rep, chin to chest. Scrape the left. All the way across the ceiling, keep your abs engaged, try not to lean back. Finding the chest again, and lift. We're going to lengthen through the fingertips, and we're going to move through the shoulder blades. We'll start with uh, a set here. We're going to lift the shoulder blades all the way up to your ears. Pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades across the upper back without softening the elbows. Fingertips slide down, reach toward the floor, and then separate the shoulder blades without rotating the arms forward. One more that way. Lift up, pull back, slide down reach forward, reverse, pull back, squeeze back, lift up, separate the shoulder blades, slide down, last rep, pull back, lift up, reach forward, and down. Same thing with the shoulder blades, arms reaching straight forward, shoulder blades lift up, pull back, squeeze the upper back, slide down into your back pocket, and reach forward. One more this way, up, back, down, and forward, reverse, pull back, squeeze, lift up, reach forward, slide down, pull back, squeeze, lift up, reach forward, and slide down. I'm going to step my left foot forward, we're going to step our left foot forward. Left hand can be braced on that left quad or fisted out to the side. We're going to go three shoulder cars on the right. Now externally rotate that right arm, cut across the body, bicep by that ear. Internal rotation, bicep spins away from you as you reach back. Back of the hand lands at that hip. Squeeze the glutes, press the arm back, feel tricep. Unwind the arm as you start to reach up toward the ceiling. More external rotation as that bicep cuts across. Arm resets. Feel both legs try to pull toward one another a little bit. Rep two, cut across. Internal rotation at the top. Try not to turn toward the arm or side bend away from the arm. Press back, chest stays square forward, unwind, bicep by the ear, palm up as you cut back across, reset at that hip, last rep, cut underneath, bicep by the ear, turn in as you reach back, back of the hand at the hip, press straight back, keep the glute active, right glute squeezing, external rotation more as you cut across, and press, we'll reset on the other side. So I'm keeping that back glute squeezing, also that action of both feet trying to pull toward one another. Right arm either here or here, left arm goes three reps. Bicep by that ear, internal rotation as you reach back. Back of that hand lands at the hip. Press back, feel tricep, unwind the arm. Bicep by the ear, palm up, more external rotation as you cut across. Two more, cut underneath. Maybe the legs can work a little harder each round. Keep thinking about wringing out that bicep like crazy. More external rotation as you cut across. Last rep here, cut underneath, palm up. Palm faces in and now twist the bicep away from you. Again, try not to side bend away from that arm. Press back, triceps engage like crazy, unwind that arm. Bicep by the ear, palm up as we cut across, and reset. We're going to go on to our hands and knees for some cat camel. So we'll diagonal so you can see. 
back in uh, spinal extension. So I'm going to start head up, butt up. And I'm going to move two reps from my tailbone first, two reps from my head first. So let's go ahead and tuck that tailbone underneath. Push into that low back, mid back, upper back. Top of the head reaches toward the floor. Hold and breathe in that cat stretch and then release tailbone, low back, mid back, upper back, head lifts. One more this way, tailbone taps. Low back, mid back, upper back. Top of that head reaches down, hold cat stretch, and release tailbone, low back, mid back, upper back, focus high. We're gonna move from the head first. So tuck the chin, push the shoulder blades into the ribs, tuck tailbone underneath, take a breath. Keep the squeeze of the low abs, release just the head, shoulders, ribs, tailbone goes last. Last rep, chin tucks, shoulder blades, ribs, low back goes. Breathe into that cat stretch, release just the head, keep low abs working, focus stays lifting, and release. We're going to go down onto our elbows next with a little hip extension. So I'm going down onto our elbows, we're going to slide that right leg behind, brace strong through the upper body, I'm going to tuck tailbone under first, squeeze right glute like crazy, right quad is super strong, tuck the tailbone, lift the leg, and I'm going to go three count hamstring curl, resist curl three, don't let the quad drop, two, one, extend the leg, and set it down. Two more reps, tailbone tucks under, leg lifts without sinking into that low back, curl three, two, one, reach long, lower down. Last rep, tailbone tucks, glute squeezes, leg lifts, curl three, two, one, reach long, and set it down. We're going to bring that knee back to the pad, come back up on all fours. This is bothering the wrists at all, you can kickstand those hands a little bit up to the side. We're going to go three hip cars on that same right leg. Knee pulls into chest, hip flexion. Carry that thigh, side. Internal rotation as you wrap the heel to the ceiling, hip bones face the floor. Feel that same amount of glute hamstring we just felt. Set the knee down. Reverse. Tuck the tailbone under as you kick the heel up. Again, no sinking into the low back. Thigh starts to carry side. External rotation, knee toward elbow. Reset. Two more reps. Pull the knee into chest. Carry side. Turn in as you wrap up out and around. Hips face the floor and lower. Tuck tailbone forward, squeeze, lift, feel hamstring. Carry side, externally rotate that femur, knee to elbow. And reset, last rep, pull knee to chest. Carry side. Try not to lean or shift toward that left side. Squeeze, lift, again, feel hamstring, don't sink into that low back. Carry side, turn out, think knee to elbow. Reset and rest. We're gonna spin around the other side. So we'll start with that hip extension first. So back down on those elbows. Extend that left leg behind you. At any point here, if you want more challenge, you can walk yourself back. The further you're sitting on this quad, the harder it'll be. So we're gonna tuck that tailbone underneath, squeeze left glute, lift leg. Curl the hamstring, three, two, don't let that quad drop, one. Re-extend the leg and set it down. Two more reps. Tuck tailbone, squeeze, lift, curl three, two, one, reach long, and set it down. Tuck tailbone, squeeze, lift, curl three, two, one, reach long, and set it down. Nice job. We're coming back up onto the hands and knees. Three hip cars on the left. I like to stand my hands out a little bit and feel a little pressure out. This way gives me a little more stability, eases some pressure off that wrist. Left knee pulls to chest, left thigh side, internal rotation, wrap up and around, lower the knee. As the heel kicks up, we feel the same glute hamstring as before. Thigh side, turn out as we lift knee toward elbow, and lower. Hope my mic picked up Josh's hip hop. Carry side, <laughs> internal rotation as we kick the heel to ceiling. Both hip bones stay facing the floor. Set the knee down, reverse, kick up, feel glutes, hamstrings. Thigh carry side, turn out, 
and reset. Last rep, pull knee to chest, thigh side, turn in as we wrap up out and around, lower down, kick, squeeze up, strong through that upper body, carry side, turn out, knee toward elbow, and lower down. Let's go ahead and step that uh, left foot forward. We're gonna come into our lunge position. So I'm gonna slide that right leg back long, hand on that left knee. I'm gonna open up that left arm, feel a little bit of rotation through that torso. Now I'm gonna bring my elbow toward the floor. Josh is gonna take his behind the head. So your choice, it's sinking down toward the floor, feel a little deeper hip flexion. And now I'm gonna rest my back knee. Josh will pull up into that triangle pose and we'll find a hamstring stretch. Either one, wherever you feel the best hamstring stretch. We're gonna do that two more times. Walk back out, find and set that lunge. Open that arm toward your front leg. Bring that torso closer to the floor. Rest the back knee or just pull back into that hamstring stretch. Take a breath. Walk it forward one more time. Lunge. Open. Reach toward the floor. Pull back, hamstring stretch. And gently walk it forward. And we'll switch sides. Stepping that right foot forward. Slide along into that lunge. Maybe a little rock front to back here if that feels good on that back calf, Achilles. And we'll go three rounds here, opening up that right arm toward that front leg. Elbow down toward the floor, we sink deeper into that hip flexion. Pull back, hamstring stretch of your choice. We walk it back out two more rounds. Arm opens, elbow down. Rest the knee or pull up and back. Walk it back up, last rep. Arm opens, elbow down, pull back, hamstring stretch, and walk it back out, and then make your way to standing. Thanks, guys.